Hello and welcome to episode 20 of the Like, Click and Share podcast. Uh, today, uh, we're talking about ep- uh, branding and uh, or branding. We're talking about whether brands should use pride in their campaigns. So you may well have uh, seen in the media um, a bit of a backlash this year about uh, brands um, using not just pride, but all sorts of uh, kind of like world um, campaigns you you might find uh, <clears throat> uh, like LGBT Day or Autism Awareness, um, Disability uh, Awareness, all these different types of campaigns and that happen throughout the year um, and brands um, are encouraged to use them to show their support and build awareness. That's the aim. But some, uh, some columnists and some uh, critics uh, and some of the media are just saying that like, brands are just getting on the back and using for their own, for own advantage. And then they're actually looking more deeply in, in those organisations um, to say, well, actually, those brands don't really do very much. Their policies don't stand up um, in terms of um, the robustness, in terms of whether they kind of stand behind the campaigns. There's no evidence those organisations contribute positively um, to those campaigns. So that's kind of what we're talking about in this kind of short podcast. Uh, my name's Darren Winter. I'm the host. And uh, with us is uh, Gemma. Now, Gemma, we were talking about this off air last week. Um, and we kind of felt a bit strongly about it, both of us together. And we thought it would be quite a good podcast to talk about kind of the both sides of the argument. So what's your take on all of this? I think, well, we were talking about it last week, weren't we? I think we'd both seen either the same posts on LinkedIn or the posts online um, where people had been quite strongly, they, they, like worded things quite strongly about brands just using pride as an excuse to increase sales. And yet when you look deeper, they like what you said, they, they don't have policies, they don't donate money to the those types of causes and they were saying that people shouldn't be using the, the the pride flag in their logo or their cover image or their marketing campaigns unless they were doing all these other things so unless their internal policies included lgbtq included um equality and diversity whether or not they made donations to specific campaigns and causes. And if they didn't do things all year round, then really they had no right to do that. And I kind of like, I read some of these posts and I thought, well, we have all the way through done, um, always used inclusive videos, always used inclusive um images and social media. We've talked about diversity and equality. We've done quite a few different podcasts on this already um, since we started. We've also shared content throughout the year um, to help people. But I kind of read some of these posts and I just, it just made me think like, you know, I was going to do quite a bit this month, but I'm not sure that I am now because I kind of felt a bit like, well, I do support all the year through, you know, um, I I do do these things, but it kind of just made me feel a bit like it's hard to put into words. Do you know what I mean? But I just thought to myself, well, should I be doing this? Should I be, should I be saying these things, you know, because you're putting stuff out there and then it's like, well, are people looking and thinking, well, why are you doing that? Or why, why would, like, why would you? It was, I don't know. It just, it, it really just yeah. made me think because I, I know last year we did a lot, we did a lot of stuff around it. Um, certainly during Pride, but we do a lot of stuff all year round, you know? Um, and I just thought to myself, well, should I do as much as what I planned on doing? But I also found this a little bit as well, um, with International Women's Day. And for me, I think, yes, I agree when people say, well, you should be supportive all year round. It should be International Women's Day almost every day. It should be this, it should be that. And I thought, well, that's not really what the message is. It's just a, a spotlight on a particular day or on a particular month just to raise awareness. But it's not to say that you should only be doing things on those certain days because you shouldn't be. You should be doing things to support everybody all year round. But this year in particular, I have seen quite a, and I think it's just social media in general. I think there's been a lot of negativity all over 
social media and not just those posts, obviously, that I've talked about there. What about you? Yeah, uh, well, I agree with you. I think there's a lot of criticism. And I, and I think social media is an interesting platform because you, you're never going to get you're never going to hit it right. Uh, there'll always be somebody out there to sort of saying, well, you should do this or you shouldn't do that and you should do this instead. And, and there's never no real clear consensus. So I do think it's quite tricky for brands. Um, overall, um, I think I'm kind of agreeing with where you're at in terms of we need the, the idea of the, the days being put into um, the calendar you know, into everyday life is that it's just an opportunity to show support. It is an opportunity to raise awareness. Um, so those groups um, don't feel marginalised and they feel kind of accepted. They feel, feel that they're acknowledged in society. So I think that's important. Um, and it's a, I think really where brands, maybe some of them maybe just get it a little bit wrong is that they go to the full extent of, you know, changing all the point of sale in the windows, um, all online, and have this massive celebration. And that is okay, but as long as there's something stands behind it, you know, it mm-hmm. isn't always about money, it is about action. It could be, you know, for those brands, they might have, uh, you know, if you have lots of different stores or even just one shop or one office, <clears throat> that you might then donate your some time to a local charity, or you might donate the profits or the proceeds from a certain um from your sales i'm not too sure i like the idea of people creating limited editions of things um Mm. i think it's okay if you're going to give all the money to charity but i'm not really a a good yeah i'm not going to name the brand there's a particular electronics firm out there that always um kind of brings out things in support of um pride every single year and uh i'm not I'm fairly sure that they only donate kind of not everything. There's just like the, there's only part um, of the, 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 the actual, um, it's not the, yeah, there's the profit, but they don't really call it the profit, but it's, it's yeah, well, it is, it's kind of close to the profit anyway that's been donated. But actually, um, I, I don't know. I just think there should be more rather than just like, here's limited edition of X, Y, Z, and we're going to, you know, that's our support and that's our bit that we're doing. I think there needs to be more to it than that. The problem is the media don't promote that side very well. So they're only going to go for that. You only go for the bits that you're going to see. So it's very, very difficult um, for brands to thinking, well, we need to show a support, but we don't, sh- don't want to show too much support. So I think definitely everybody should be acknowledging um, the campaigns if they want to. Um, and I think it's important because this is the other side of the coin is that, you know, certainly in, in, you know, in some of the Western countries, you know, I'm going to say America because the states, states in America are looking or are reversing um, mm-hmm. laws, um, which are supposed to be for inclusivity. And that's de- definitely not the way that it's uh, the way that it's going. So that's one example of why it's important. Um, it isn't just about you know drinking and celebrating it can be you know in certain cities and that and if that's what what people want to do then that's down to them but i think that if you're a company and you're thinking whether we should get behind it or not hopefully you you will get behind the campaign even if you just you know just say we support pride month you know with an image um you know, we we stand behind all the you know, the values of what this of what this is about. That would be enough. You don't have to change your banners. You don't have to put everything is you know rainbows and balloons, and you don't need to do all of that. But if you do that, all that stuff and more, then 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 you also need to do more proactive stuff with it as well. And I think then, you know, it kind of like well, I'm there and support but we don't either have the resources to do anything more than that. Or if, you know, if we do, this is what we're going to be doing. Um, I think like walking past, I was in the city centre last week and a lot of the shop windows were kind of like, had like loads of pride stuff up in the window, which is great, but there was nothing about kind of, you know, in terms of the action that were the kind of standing behind. And I think that's where you know, some of the um, criticism is coming from. So I think in summary, because, you know, we're business ourselves and, you know, I'm gay. I'm happy to say that I am gay. Um, 
I, do, I think I probably mentioned on podcasting that before. I do get obscenities and that thrown at me in the street. Um, I do get looked at and, you know, but you kind of, you just deal with it. Um, and it's not every day. Um, but yeah, but you some... shouldn't, you shouldn't have to, no, you know, I mean, it's like, it's, it's 2022, you yeah. know, it's like everybody should be accepting of everybody. I mean, I'm not, I hate labels. I, I, I'm not a fan of being labeled at all. Um, I don't think you should have to the same way as I don't, I've, I feel that people shouldn't have to come out, you know, a straight person doesn't have to come out and say I'm straight, you know, it's, I think it's just such a, it's such a difficult topic, but I think my my concern is like obviously what you've said there about America is almost that some in some ways things are going backwards rather yeah. than forwards, you know. And you are finding that there's more, and it's I don't I don't just think it's um, like for Pride or LGBTQ. I think it's um, for different races, you know. I think you yeah. see a lot more. I think certainly over the last year and I think during COVID, I've seen a lot more negative posts and racist posts and seeing more people like being attacked in the street. There's been more videos being circulating and stuff. And for me, I just think like it's 2022. Surely we've moved on from this. Do you know what I mean? It's and, and that's everybody why it's should be the same. Yeah. yeah. That's why it's important to still stand up for what you believe in. You don't have, even have to shout it over social media. It, it can be you just go out and do whatever it is that you stand. Whether you stand in a, you know, in a crowd of people or supporting, or you, you, you know, you you willingly giving your time um, out contributing to the local community or group. You don't have to keep shouting about it on social media. You, you know, if you don't feel like you want to do that, or you don't even feel it's the right thing to do, I always think you'd be judged by your actions, not by you know, kind of like you what you stand on the sidelines talking about because you can, it's easy to say but it's much more harder and um difficult like perhaps like to do or having the confidence to go out there and, and talk to people about things um and challenge maybe some viewpoints as well but in a kind of positive and constructive way um so it's an interesting debate um and we're kind of short of time today and i, I you know that's uh maybe a good thing because we could probably <laughs> talk about this for a lot of times so we had definitely don't and we're not kind of, kind of claiming we've got the solution to everything here but it's a bit of a talking point that's going on right now i don't think it's just we both of us agree it's not just about pride here although it just happens to be during pride month um but i think we're going to start seeing it in lots of other campaigns as well so i think it's definitely worth you know if you're a company your brand it's definitely worth considering about you know, going back to social media or your campaigns, your marketing about, you know, what are we saying and why are we saying it? You know, what are we, what are we, you know, if we're saying just we're celebrating this or it's great for International Women's Day, then, you know, we'll kind of be ready to be challenged, be ready to show like kind of, if somebody should ask you, well, what are you doing? Then be ready with that answer um, and then show people what you're about. Because it's, it's the action that makes the difference, not just yeah. creating a really nice punchy, um, like tagline or a, an amazing social media image. Um, thank you so much for your time. I'm sorry it's a short podcast this time around. We've got some great um, topics coming up. So make sure you, you hit the subscribe button if you're not already um, or listen to the back catalogue. And if there's anything else that you'd like us to talk about specifically or you'd like to appear on the podcast, our contact details are in the show notes below. Um, but that's all we've got time for this episode, sadly. And uh, But hopefully we'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.